All right, welcome back and thank you so much for staying with the team as we continue to tell your story. Now, in 2010, Kincha Media developed a festival concept that's called the annual Shanganani Traditional Music and Arts Festival. So this, of course, seeks to promote and uplift traditional and urban music and dance in South Africa and on the African continent. The event is also aimed at promoting and profiling the South African richly tradition and cultures. Shanganani is a Nguni word for come together and hence the aim of uh, this particular festival concept is to bring artists and the people and the communities from a particular tradition or music genre together through music festivals and cultural exhibitions. We look into the festival now. We have in studio King Chauke King Chau, uh, he's the, the Kincha Media CEO and uh, event organizer. We have Charles Mabazo. Mabazo he is uh, the acting DDG from the Department of Arts and Culture and we have uh, Benny Mayangani, a Tsonga award winning artist, many of you will be very familiar with them and they join me now live in our studios in Auckland. But good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for coming through. I am Peril. Reperile. Yeah, hey, good afternoon. I know that. So good to see you back in the music industry uh, in full force. What happened to politics? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm still in politics. Yeah. Uh, I'm still a member of EFF. Oh, so you uh, are just not happy with Ringo Matlingos being a member of parliament? No, I'm not here to discuss that. Uh, uh, and then Ringo was not the reason. Okay. Uh, I resigned as a peer counsellor. Yes. Because uh, of what? Of music? You'll know probably maybe next year. Next year. I'll make a press uh, briefing okay. so that everyone must have a clue on the issue, oh, but right. not now. Yeah, I think At the moment, let's So we'll wait, for that. We'll, we'll wait for that press briefing to come. So this festival, how exciting is this one? Yes, uh, festival lay... Uh, no one yan what artist lit on a performer from Luguya Sungula in 2012. Uh, Lugunta Tanganana King Chauke, I'm sure Luguay Sungula about a trash field. Uh, I pay you on a ile and Tengofu, like attendance here on a Chavisa, Malambe and Kwao Nebeko, Naba Bushback Ridge, uh, Batembisa, Alexander, uh, Nevander Corner. President uh, So, uh, as he says, it's, it's, it's been able to bring communities um, to showcase culture and heritage. So, it certainly has been a, a success. Um, good evening to all the viewers at home. Yes, definitely it has been a great success. And thanks to every department, every person that spent their last month to support the event. We have seen a lot of uh, enthusiasm within all artists, regardless of their genre of music. And all the traditional music, when it comes this time, they know. Mm -hmm. And we come together and celebrate as one. That is the only time that you see how diverse we are. And we celebrate together as one. Mm, indeed. So, Acting DDG, uh, what's the role of the Department of Arts and Culture in, in, in the festival? Well... The department's overall objective is to create an enabling environment for the arts and culture to flourish in the country. And part of that, we give support to events that promote social cohesion, events that brings people together. And this event in particular, it brings traditional musicians from all walks of life, you know, the country, the country. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to go back to King Chauke. We just want to fix your microphone. You're not audible enough. So he, he, he speaks about social cohesion. And this is part of what you say in light of um, the xenophobic attacks that we saw uh, in Gauteng specifically. So this is also aimed at sort of bridging that gap that, that was created by, that, by, by those incidents. It had been a, very, uh, a great vehicle to drive the social cohesion issue especially after the xenophobic attacks. Uh, this year we're also bringing artists from Zimbabwe, Mozambique and Botswana. And we are saying, as much as we can be different in language, but we are all Africans, we can be able to celebrate as one. And we are definitely achieving that. Mm -hmm. All right. So you are still busy telling us about the role of the Department of Arts and Culture in, in all of this, promoting social cohesion, so you say. Yes, and you are saying we are doing that uh, through supporting the various events that are taking place in the country, either through financial support or through capacity building programs. But this program in particular, it brings people from all walks of life. 
throughout the country and outside the borders of this country to come and celebrate and showcase. And what is more important is that it also dismisses the myth that we are diverse. I mean, if you look at the rhythm, the music, you know, we can learn from one another, but it's a celebration of who we are as South Africa. At the same time, yes. Mm. Now, Benny, you, you, you said you've been part of the <coughs> festival since 2012. Yes. Mm. But what, what sense do you get whilst performing? Because everyone talks about social cohesion, everyone talks about bringing the different cultures and heritage uh, together. Yeah, I was able to perform in front of Basutu, Mazulu, Makos, Amavenda, so so so. So, I can only look at the language to Ambana, a Kotaku at least a Dabuqua in a Ushanganisa, Dabuqua Mazulu, Sangana, no Amazonga, Wamasuatu, in Sangana and Queer, Ibaika, I Chumaila Wungwe, Ekar Shakaragaina, Kui Komana Tanir Shaka, Tanilis was Walavaku, Esumonian Sendaku, Kumeka, I I lona shungungu mane shivenge hizonophobia kuwa itlanga nsar shaka kuwa na bumi president mwenye nwa bula bula. So I, I think importantly as well, King Chauke is the fact that uh, 2019 was set aside, aside as a year of indigenous languages. So this, in a way, at the same time, will be promoting different languages that we have in in the country. That's very true. Um, not only in the country, but you be very shocked that when you go to other African countries. They speak the same language that we speak. Mm. And when you travel, that's where you learn more. But bringing these African brothers in the country, we also learn and we become one. Mm. So in terms of social cohesion, I, I remember on the show we were trying to reach out to the Department of Arts and Culture when the Springboks um, brought back the trophy here home, but we couldn't. But how far are we in, in terms of achieving that social cohesion? Of course, this is just part of what can be achieved. Um, but talk to us about uh, the progress that's been made in, in, in the country. Look, there is work in progress. We, we have done a lot. And as you know that we are saying by 2030, South Africans must have more things in common than differences. So what we've been doing from school, we run projects like you know, teaching people about the flag, national symbols, the importance, because it's this type of awareness that we raise that will make people begin to realize and appreciate one another. More so when so you still have people uh, who portray the old flags? Yes, we still have those challenges, mm -hmm. but I think what is important is that South Africans must begin to, to appreciate one another. We must begin to address the social issues that we find ourselves in, because if you begin to, to deal with those things, people are able you know, to interact. And that's, that's the reason we support like music programs, uh, you know, because they really unite people. Music plays a critical role in making sure, not music, but generally arts and culture, make sure that people really begin <coughs> to come together, people converge in one spaces, they appreciate, they continue with their lives. So we are encouraging those kind of things, and that's the reason we support most of the activities throughout the country. Mm. So you, you also speak of uh, traditional um, leadership and the role, of course, they can play. Are they part of the festival as well? Yes. Um, I think we have already received about 22 RSVPs from different traditional leaders mm. who are coming from different areas, KZN, Northwest. Um, we got people coming as far as Eastern Cape. So definitely they are part of the event and mm. we look forward to hosting them what's they the importance of having them being part of this event i still under the belief that they're the custodian of the language they're the custodian of where we walk every day without they're the first custodian of the land and out of respect from our cultures you can't do it without them yeah all right so uh what do you promise the viewers who will be attending the festival this weekend? Yeah, but Secretary of Benin Mayangani, Tanile Sumistiba Kuku, Lagunana President Mayangani Kunashim Bende, Tana Nevinyengi, Nemukomeda na December Revolution, Album Lenga Tavani Michaela Rona, Rosumula Sungula, I'm Clarence Stadium. For my measure, my ticket, my ticket, I'm sure is sixty rand. Kungena, Shavan Matikiti, a comity ticket, shop right, Metawana President Yangwina, Ben Mayangani, Nastibaku, Stadium Kwashu, 
loko ku full stadium vana vata vaka vashauta beni 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 izari yasha president mangano wa bulabuli neri loko mtiringa bulabuli itai bulabrese so do you have a new album it's the festive season people yeah. are releasing yes neku meseka album friday late a kuita bai home mara eh defenta mina ba seketeri ba mina ta banga ta ba ri mhlare ba ta bana nkate ko to album le ntshoro sungu so you'll give them a clip of what to expect in your new album this oh okay so the lineup quickly as you said you also expecting some uh, international artists um we have a, what we call a national team mm. so we do have kuzani from kzn and ikramelisha from kzn and amakeza mahle we do have lena jakata from zim we do have culture spears from botswana and all of that we got na lady brown from eastern cape we got um uh, ma ausi from northwest we got beni mangani from limpopo we got makazi from limpopo we got josh riman from limpopo so definitely it's a national team a representation of all provinces all nine provinces are represented yeah. this is the only national event that you can find that comes together to join forces mm -hmm. with all traditional music mm -hmm. and say we are one Let's oh. forget about the hatred against each other. All right. So you've been to Limpopo, you've been to the Kaiseren this year. It's Gauteng. We have been possibly in three provinces so far. Mm. And Ekuruleni, the city of Ekuruleni, have done well. And we say shout out to them, the Department of Arts and Culture, for definitely supporting us to say, let's keep this genre going. And it's the identification and the promotion of who we are. All right. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that can.